Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing a bourbon review. Wild Turkey. Rare breed. Rare breed, <laughs> thank you. I had a brain I can tell fight. You. I lost it a for a second. A long pause there. Um, <clears throat> I've never had this before. It has won a lot of awards over the years. It's it one came of my out, favorites. Yeah, that's what Josh was saying. He loves this stuff. Um, this particular batch is... Um, identified from a certain point they used to identify them with batch numbers but now they identify them with the barrel proof uh, that's coming out this one is 116 proof 116.8 I believe it is um, it came out in 1991 is when it was first introduced on the market ironically the same time that Booker's was introduced on the market Booker's, as you all probably know, is a higher proof. Uh, I think the Booker's I have up here is like a 135 proof. So it is a barrel proof as well, but they tend to run a little bit higher. Wild Turkey, because of their mash bill and the way they age it, they put it into the barrel at a little bit lower proof so that when it comes out at barrel proof, the alcohol content isn't as high as some of those others that come out at barrel proof. So 116 is still nothing to joke at. It's pretty high proof. Um, the tasting notes that are out there commercially are they have the high caramels and the vanillas and the oak char and the wood and the leather and all of the classic things. You all are gonna get um, what Josh and I pick up from it. The going price on this is 44, 44, 44, 44 45 bucks in it's our 10 state. 10 bucks off though, so I bought some. <clears throat> yes, so was... when, if you can get it on sale, go ahead and do so. It, it is very highly um, regarded in the bourbon industry. A lot of people like it, which is surprising. I've never had it. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you don't have it in your collection. I, I know. Weird. I had uh, Wild, Wild Turkey, Turkey Russell's Reserve, and I had several bottles of that, which is okay it just really didn't set really well with me and i haven't had this um, in a while but from what i remember i really enjoy it yeah um it is it doesn't have an age statement but mm -hmm. on the website yeah, they pull this and and it's uh age when they blend the barrel proofs and everything uh six eight and twelve year is the uh, age ranges of the whiskeys they use in <coughs> this product so. And you, you were saying that it's all the same mash bill when you're reading? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's the, the, the wild turkey mash bill. Um, I did have a percentage here on my little cheat sheet here. Um, it talks about the, you know, so much percent rye, so much barley, and so much corn. Um, I think they probably stick to a very similar mash bill for all of their yeah. whiskeys. It's got a great nose. Yeah, Carly, woody. Yep. Little vanilla. Yep. Good color. So you can tell you know, just from the dark color. cherry too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. <clears throat> Some cherry notes. It's got a it's good little stingy if you get too close because the alcohol. Yeah, has a good color. You can tell it's got some age on mm -hmm. it. Because as you all know, bourbon, they can't add any uh, colors or anything other than distilled water when they cut the proofs down. But this one isn't cut down, it is at barrel proof. Yeah, that's got a really pleasant mm -hmm. nose. Vanilla for how caramel. for how much alcohol's in there? It's it's not. Yeah, it's it's I'm not, not picking up a whole lot of the alcohol burn. Right. It's fairly easy, which mm -hmm. can be misleading. It could be. Yeah, I got a lot of it. vanilla. A yeah. lot of vanilla. I'm getting a lot of wood too. Wood char with the vanilla. Yeah, the vanilla is more powerful, but. Like the undertone of the the wood char. Mm -hmm. Yep, there is some <clears throat> there's some leather undertones yep. too. Smells good. I don't know. I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Always take that cleansing. Warm. <laughs> that some is no that. joke. There's some heat to it. Mm. Take that first sip, kind of get the palate prepared for it. I really don't think you get a true, 
evaluation on that first. See, I'm set. on the fence with that. Really? Yeah. Because the <clears> second <throat> one, I feel like my taste buds, especially with this kind of proof, you deadened them. I feel like. Well, let's see. It's softer. That second go around is softer. But I got. I feel like I got more flavors on the first one. See, I got alcohol. Oh. I got alcohol burn. Strong caramel. Mm-hmm. It's got Some a lot leather. of the nose characteristics. It does. <clears throat> get, definitely getting the rye hit at the end. Mm -hmm. I feel that peppery. Yep. Uh, a lot of, I get still a lot of wood char. Yeah. But yeah, definitely yep, caramel, barrel. vanilla, wood char, and then I get some, some pepper. Leather. leather. Yeah. That's a good one. I get the, the dark cherry too. I was going to say, did you get cherry on, mm -hmm. the, on the palate at yeah. all? Where are you getting it? In the middle or the front? or The front, kind of. With that. Yeah. Because the front kind of like the sweetness and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it goes into the, the woodiness of it. And then for me, then it goes right into the pepper and the alcohol heat. Okay. Yep. For me. I could see the sweet on the front. Right. The pepper, the, gr the grainy, not really grain, but leather. Mm -hmm. And some of that mid palate. Almost tobacco y too. Yeah. That's a that's a good one. Yep, that's a nice whiskey. It is for that very heat. nice. I want to have water. Yeah, you probably don't because it's got rye. I'm so yeah, you want the fancy thing? Yeah, I probably should. I don't want to put too much or too little. Yeah. Yeah, I think because of Wild Turkey's mash bill, they are considered a high rye mash bill. I uh, really am I not a fan of. <clears throat> is it? No, I no, will. Um, I'm not a big okay. fan of adding water. As I break the thing. That's okay. It's only money, bro. Yeah, it's not mine, so it's even better. <laughs> I like it. It it has the it's good, last... good, right? It is. I really like it. <clears throat> um, the last big awards I saw online was 2016 or 17. It Put won a bunch of double, double gold in the San Francisco Spirits Competition. <coughs> Excuse me. How long ago um, was that? 2016 yeah. was what Ooh. I saw online. Um, it is nice to have a little cheat sheet and you can make notes and stuff for those of you out there tasting whiskeys. Um, you can get all kinds of cool stuff. We should do a product review on tasting books. There's a bunch of them out there and they really kind of guide mm -hmm. you along the flavor wheel and everything where you can uh, pick out the different compounds that are in the products and make notes on character and color and texture and flavor and and the nuances and you can save those from year to year which we have both have tasting books and we look back on yeah, ones we fun. tasted years ago and we would have tastings and go man i didn't get this and i didn't get that and then you taste it now and it's completely different or you look or, and you're like oh i didn't even like that one and right, now i love it because right. like your taste change or whatever but mm -hmm. did water do it just brought out the rye brought like out the like rye it. Mm. It, it for me it's good because it, it tamed down the alcohol <clears throat> heat right. and i like the rye but i actually like the flavor better without the water hmm. it didn't ruin it but it definitely it brought out the more the rye and it's it's a little toned down i don't get yeah. as many i don't get as much vanilla um yeah you can even smell it smell that you can smell the rye oh yeah but then um, the vanilla is still there for me yeah it's but there the cherry's it's, gone yeah it's there yeah the caramely like yeah there's still vanilla it just it just tamed it down it, yeah. it brought everything down a notch so yeah i don't get a whole lot of that wood char anymore yeah, i didn't smell any wood char in that nose where here you do, you've got that peppery wood. Yeah. Yeah. So water tames it down for those of you out there. It's if not, you're it doesn't, try it doesn't, it. it doesn't ruin it by any means. It definitely is better without the water though, to me. I know you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't like it with the water. I'm about 99% sure I probably wouldn't. Yeah. It's it is hot. It's, yeah, it's, it's hot at 116. This particular, now next year's batch, it might come in at a higher or lower. Right. It just depends on, that's how they differentiate from batch to batch now instead of doing batch 27 or batch four or five so or six. Is it yearly or is it just every, like how many batches they release in a year? Do you know? It didn't say on here, but it I, I from what I'm gathering from reading it, it is a fairly consistent release okay so, they so like for the have, year they have like this one is 116.8 <clears throat> right. that's for that year yes it's probably this year i think i bought it maybe last year 
So, and they may be, they may do two releases a year. It just depends on their stocks, I would imagine. Right. If you have a oh, lot. Oh, they're blending it too, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. But it's a good yep. whiskey. If it you is. can find it, go get it. I would, I would say it's a thumbs up. Yeah, for Definitely. sure. Wild Turkey's hard to yeah. beat. It's such a good, consistent brand. They've been around forever. They've got great master distillers who know what they're doing, and they really care. Uh, they don't change a lot. I mean, with the exception of the Matthew McConaughey yeah. uh, long branch that they have, they've pretty much stuck to their same mash bill, the yeast strains, because it works for them. And, and were you saying this was Jimmy Russell's favorite? Uh, yes, I think so. And Mac, actually, it might so he doesn't it have, even says that here. Master Distiller thing. Master no. Distiller Jimmy Russell. Yeah. Um, I think this is one of his favorites on there, <clears throat> um, and it's got yeah. his name all over it too. So, yeah. I think it is one of his favorites. He likes to sip his. I think neat. Yeah, I would. I would. I'd do neat. Mm-hmm. I would like it over ice too. I think. Because it would, well, not for you, but because it would bring out the rye, but I think mm-hmm. it would be good because it would, it would mellow it out a little bit from mm-hmm. the alcohol. But yeah. yeah. I probably would I probably wouldn't pour it over <clears throat> ice, but I think it would be okay. Price wise, it's not, you're not breaking the bank when no. you get it, especially if you can get it's it on a good, sale. I think the price is good for, I think the price for is what right. You get. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you're getting 116, you know, yeah. percent or proof. Proof. <clears throat> so, yeah. Good whiskey. Great distiller. Yeah. Uh, flavors are great. I'd give it a thumbs up. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let's see. Nothing else? Yeah, I think that's Any it. Any other good whiskey? Tips? Yep. So don't forget um, to like and subscribe. That helps us a lot. Helps us grow. Definitely. <clears throat> and as always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons any, any way you like. like. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Nope.